Hi guys, I am done with my German student visa application process at VFS Mumbai on 3rd July 2023. I am making this video in order to share with you my experience of entire visa application process and list of documents required to be carried at VFS Mumbai. So the first important thing is you have to go on VFS global website and book your visa appointment date. Once you get the confirmed visa appointment date, you can start preparing documents. The first important document is cover letter. Then second one is VIDEX form. It is a visa application form which you have to fill online. In description, I have mentioned one link. From there, you can go and fill your VIDEX application form. On the second last page of VIDEX application form, there will be one declaration in accordance with section 54 of Residence Act then there will be one more declaration form. It is additional contact and legal representation form. Then you have to carry your original passport as well as copy of your passport as well. You can uh, two sets. Ha, one important thing is that all the documents which you are carrying, you, you should prepare two sets of it. Black and white is also fine. I personally took black and white uh, printout, but all of them should be clear and readable. Then letter of motivation. Remember this letter of motivation is not the one which you have sent to university for getting your admit. This letter of motivation you are writing to visa office for getting your visa. So be aware of that and kindly uh, like you mentioned there about um, kindly mention in this letter of motivation about your course how this course is going to help you. What are your future aspirations? and your intention to come back to India. All these things should be mentioned. APS certificate, IELTS result, proof of admittance to study course including language of instruction, block account confirmation form. Then if you are taking education loan, then loan sanction letter. If you are going from your personal funding, then you should have a sponsorship letter showing uh, that in case your parents are sponsoring you then in that letter it should be mentioned that they are sponsoring you and have enough fund to fund you for two years for that you need to carry the bank account statement of last year then ITR returns also uh, if your parents have any FD you can also show that details in your affidavit so this thing will clear to VFS office that you are having enough funds and can survive in Germany then 10th and 12th result university degree all semester mark sheet transcript of records if you have your 12th LC and your college leaving certificate with you attach that as well if you have any prior work experience, attach your work experience letter, 3 to 4 biometric specification photo. In the link present in description, you will find details about biometric specification. You can see the specification and can prepare your passport photo accordingly. Then travel insurance and health insurance. So. This was, the, this was the list of all the documents. Now I will talk about few things in detail. First is regarding uh, block account confirmation. So I have opted for Expatrio's value package service. In that I receive uh, the facilities of block account, health insurance, travel insurance and current account opening once I reach in Germany. So first thing. As soon as you open your account on Expatrio, you will immediately receive your health insurance and travel insurance. I received travel insurance of Dr. Walter and health insurance of TK. Both these things are accepted by VFS office, so not a worry. And regarding block account, like from November 2022, the, we have to show 11208 euros in our block account. That is 934 euros per month. You can add block account amount directly in single pay or in multiple payments. 
from your personal account as well as your blood relatives account like your parents brother sister grandfather grandmother expatrio accepts that but you cannot transfer it from your cousin or your friends account since they are not your blood relatives so the one important point here is all of you are aware about tcs if we pay more than 7 lakh rupees from a single pan uh, linked bank account then 5% tcs is there and from earlier it was from 1st july now it will be uh, like from to uh, it is uh, the date is shifted 2 months ahead so it will be 20% tcs but don't worry the tcs is refundable uh, but it uh, but you have to wait for the entire financial year to finish once you fill your itr for the financial year then the 5% tcs which you are paying now on all the transaction above 7 lakh will be refunded but again we have to wait for the entire financial year to finish so it is better that we fill from multi, uh, we pay the payment in block account from multiple account and do not breach the limit of 7 lakh rupees but if in case uh, you can also transfer it from single bank account only if you are having a education loan and paying from that then it is 0.5% only tcs okay so that was the point which i wanted to tell uh, one more point which i want to highlight is many students are asking regarding uh, how we are adding unblocked deposit amount to our block account so it's very simple you have to mail expatrio explain them your situation like in my case i have to pay the sec i have to pay uh, like in my case i paid first semester tuition fees to my college and uh, to my university and i received payment confirmation from them and we have to show two years semester fee as a financial means along with our block account amount so first semester fees i have paid block account amount i have paid now i have to pay the second semester fee but i am adding it in as a unblocked deposit in my block account so i will mail expatrio explain them my situation tell them i have to add the second semester fee as unblocked deposit to your block account and tell them entire sum that 11208 euro if your block account uh, fees so that we will receive 934 euros per month 100 euros is buffer amount 60 euros is 5 euro per month your monthly charges and 49 euro is your account setup fee which is refundable so this 49 euro plus buffer amount which you are paying whatever will be left all these things will be paid to you in your first month uh, in your current account once you activate your current account and the tuition fees like my university is public university but it is in the state baden wurtemberg so there they have passed the law of 1500 euros per semester so that 1500 euros plus 193 euro semester contribution fee 1693 euros is my one semester fees so in total it is nearly 13110 euros so i sent the mail to expatrio and immediately within 24 to 48 hours they expanded my block account limit from 11208 euros to 13110 euros so it's very simple and the other thing is uh, how to uh, ask uh, expatrio to send the unblocked deposit amount to your current account so whenever your second semester tuition fee notification will come from your university you can send that notification to expatrio and tell them you are supposed to pay the second semester fee so what they will do is they will transfer the unblocked deposit amount to your current account which is linked to them and once the money received in your current account you can send it to your university and pay your second semester tuition fees so in proof of admittance to a study course including language of instruction it should be clearly mentioned the course start date course duration as well as the language of instruction whether it is english taught german taught or both because if all these details are not mentioned then the at vfs office they will ask you to send a mail to your university and mention all these things in detail and then again ask you to present the document so better check 
your admission letter once again and then be prepared okay and uh, like what happened in my case is nobody checked my original documents except my original passport you have to carry the all original documents with you but most probably they won't check the documents uh, except your original passport okay also one more thing i would like to add is regarding accommodation if you have sorted everything about accommodation and have received your tenancy contract then you can attach the tenancy contract in your visa application with all other documents although the checklist which they provide you at vfs office there is nothing mentioned regarding accommodation but they told if you have already sorted it and have a tenancy contract present with you kindly attach it it will be a added advantage for you regarding expatrio account opening if anyone any of the viewer watching this video right now haven't opened expatrio's block account till now you can refer my referral link and open block account from here i am attaching the referral link in description below in the next video i will come up with my detailed review of vfs mumbai how much time is it uh, taking for all the processes to complete from document verification submission to biometrics do we really need to take premium lounge service or even if we go in ordinary service is it fine or not everything i will explain to you in detail so please stay stu tuned and one more thing to all other viewers who have who are watching this video if you have already applied for visa and are done with your visa process kindly share your experience with the other viewers it will be really helpful for them thanks